Thanks for checking out this video. I think I'm going to call this a haul video because I think that's what I've been calling these things in the past, but it's like a haul video, unboxing video, whatever you want to call it. Basically, I bought some Blu-rays from Diabolic DVD, uh, and I'll go through what I got and kind of talk about them and why I got them. So uh, if people don't know, if you haven't seen me unbox from them before, I've ordered from them before. I think one other one I did on here, I don't remember, but they... Um, I like Diabolic DVD because they kind of get their Blu-rays and they mainly focus on horror. They get them from a bunch of different places and then it just is like a one-stop shop for whatever you're basically looking for within horror film. So instead of having to be like, oh, is this title through Scream Factory or is it through Arrow or is it, or is it through Vinegar Syndrome or whatever, you can just go to DiabolicDVD.com and get whatever you want there. You know, I'm not sponsored by them. I don't have any relationship with them or anything. I just like going to that website and doing that. Yes, there's a bit of an upcharge on the Blu-rays because obviously they have to make some money. But honestly, it's not much. And I think that if you would otherwise be buying like a little from Arrow, a little from Scream, a little from Vinegar Syndrome... Uh, you would probably end up spending about what you would spend at Diabolic on the shipping. So it's much easier to just go to Diabolic and just get everything you want in one go. So, that said, that's one of the big reasons I like them. Plus, I like to support a company like that. You know, it's it's extra jobs. It's an extra company. I dig it. So, i uh, going to get into what I bought most recently. One of the things to know about how they do things... Oh, and by the way, there it's Diabolic spelled with a K instead of a C at the end, so Diabolic DVD. Uh, one of the things to know is a lot of the times if you want to purchase something that is uh, not available at that time, they will hold your order until everything's available. So, like mine actually took a few months for me to get, but I'm fine with that because you know I didn't like need these Blu-rays. It's just. You know, there, there are ones I've been wanting for some time. So I'm just going to, like, randomly pull them out, not in any particular order, just however they're stacked in there. All right, so the first one is an awesome, awesome horror comedy that, uh, if you haven't seen it, you should definitely see it. That is Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. This one is really smartly written. It is funny throughout. There's so many awesome horror references in the film. So if you have not seen this, it was on Shudder at one point, and that's where I initially saw it. Uh, but I liked it so much that, and I like horror comedy so much that I felt like I had to get it. So there is the cover art for Dude Bro Party Massacre 3. And just so you know, there's no 1 or 2 of this film. Uh, they go over the events of 1 and 2, which, which don't exist in the beginning of it. And that's one of the funny things. So I'll read what it is, just in case anyone's intrigued. They don't know what it is. In the wake of... Oh, uh, wait. I'll, I'll go even further back. A satirical twist of the gory and sexually charged 1980s slasher genre, Dude Bro Party Massacre 3 is presented as the only surviving VHS copy of the revealed horror franchise's third and final installment. In the wake of two back-to-back -back mass murders on Chico's frat row, loner Brent Chirino must infiltrate the ranks of a popular fraternity to investigate his twin brother's murder at the hands of the serial killer known as Motherface. Motherface. As they are picked off one by one, Brent and his fellow dude bros must face the terrifying reality that their deadly foe, believed to have been killed twice, has returned from the grave again and is hell-bent on the destruction of the Delta Bis. Definitely worth it. Even if the description I read doesn't sound good, trust me, it is good, it's funny, it's great. Plus, how many horror comedies that are good do we actually get? Not a lot. All right. Next one, I think I know which one this is based on. Oh, no, I don't. <sighs> okay, this is one I've been meaning to buy for some years now. It's a film I fell in love with maybe four or five years ago, something like that. And I've been wanting to purchase this steel book, but the price has always been like, eh, I kind of want to wait, I kind of want to wait. Well, the inventory was starting to get low on Diabolic, and I don't think it's going to be around forever, so I was kind of like, I might as well just bite the bullet now, just get it. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but I really want to add this to, to my collection so that I can always access this film. I think it's available on sh still available on Shutter at the moment to watch, but that is Society. Um, like I said, fell in love with this many years ago, the first time I saw it. This is such a weird, quirky film, and uh, if you haven't seen it, definitely watch it. Like I said, if you have Shutter, I believe it's still on there. Uh, Joe Bob Briggs had covered it at some point, which... 
when I was watching that episode of The Last Drive-In and he and he said society, I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be awesome. I can't wait to hear what he says about it. So yeah, um, that's a cool, uh, cool Steelbook cover too. So actually something to kind of say about it. I don't know if Joe Bob said it. I think he probably did during his um, Last Drive-In episode about society. But uh, Brian Usna and Stuart... Gordon worked together on Reanimator. Now Brian Usna did Society, and both of them also worked on Honey I Shrunk the Kids. They wrote the script for that film, so it's really weird to like have seen Reanimator and have seen Society, and then know that Brian Usna was involved with both of those, and Stuart Gordon was involved with Reanimator and did Honey I Shrunk the Kids. Like it's it's just weird when those things happen because Reanimator is not. It's totally the opposite, and society is also totally the opposite. But anyway, so for people who don't know society, I'm going to go ahead and read the back real quick. After producing Stuart Gordon's hit reanimator, Brian Usna, uh, Bride of Reanimator and Returning the Living Dead 3. That's right, he did Returning the Living Dead 3 as well. Really good. Turned his hand to directing with 1989's Society and gave birth to one of the ickiest, most original body horror shockers of all time. That's true. Teenager Bill Whitney played by Billy Warlock, has always felt like the odd one out in his wealthy upper-class Beverly Hills family. For some reason, he just doesn't seem to fit in. But his sense of alienation takes a sinister turn when he hears an audio recording of his sister's coming out party, which seems to implicate his family and others in a bizarre ritualistic orgy. Sounding weird? It is. And, and then there are the strange things he's been seeing. Glimpses of people with their bodies contorted and possibly out of shape, is Bill going mad, or is there something seriously amiss in the, in his neighborhood? Packing stomach-churning chur grew and thought-provoking provo social commentary, in equal measure, society is a biting horror satire, which culminates in one of the most gag-inducing climaxes in all of horror history. The shunting. Uh, gotta be seen to be believed. The first time I saw it, I was just like, whoa. And, like I said, it's amazing. So, society finally did it i'm gonna be very happy to put that in the stacks back there all right next one haha -ha. okay so on my channel i have reviews for two frank hennenlotter films um i am going i already have the box set of basket case one two and three blu-rays i'm going to be doing reviews for those and adding to that i will also be doing a review of frank hennenlotter's frankenhooker I really like, I have a soft spot for Hen Lauder's films. Uh, he has a particular voice to all of his films, a, a particular wackiness, quirkiness that's infused in all of them that just, I, I just like it. They're very charismatic films. So I saw this movie a bunch of years ago. It's been on my list to get, and I finally went ahead and did it. From Frank Henenlotter, the creator of Basket Case Trilogy and Brain Damage, comes Frankenhooker, a gory horror comedy twist on the Frankenstein legend. Which, by the way, real quick, uh, the two reviews I have up for Henenlotter films are Brain Damage and Bad Biology. Which, Bad Biology, by the way, you don't need to see that. When Jeffrey Franken's fiancé is chopped to pieces by the blades of a remote-controlled lawnmower, <laughs> he uses his dubious medical knowledge to try to bring her back to life. He reassembles his beloved Elizabeth using the body parts of New York City's finest prostitutes and resurrects her during a heavy lightning storm. Unfortunately for Jeffrey, his dear Elizabeth's brain is scrambled and she runs amok on 42nd Street, turning tricks and bringing high-voltage death to her customers. Totally worth it. Very excited to have this. Like I said, I will be doing a review. I'll be doing a review for all these at some point. Actually, I already have a review for Dubro Party Massacre 3 on my channel. Did it some time back maybe like two years ago now actually that's crazy uh but anyway i'll be doing reviews for these but i don't know when i'll get to them because i have a lot of a lot of films on the docket to get to and then we have the final one and this is actually the one that uh was holding up my box because it was out and i bet there's another one i've been meaning to get for years uh because when i first saw it i fell in love with it as well and it's one of those so bad it's awesome films i'm sure most of you know this and that is sleepaway camp the original, just the original. Uh, some time ago, I had really wanted to get my hands on the box set that they did of the trilogy, but to be honest, I'm not that 
upset that I'm not able to get it because Sleepaway Camp is really the star, the original. The second one I like and I would like to rewatch, so maybe I'll buy that separately at some point. The third one, I just don't like it. Like, it's trash. It's just so crappy. Uh, good to see once if you've seen the first two, but that's about it. So I'm going to go ahead and read this because I've been reading it for all of them, but I'm sure most of you know it, but here we go. After a terrible boating accident killed her family, shy Angela Baker, played by Felissa Rose, who's cool, went to live with her eccentric aunt Martha and her uncle Ricky, or uncle, cousin Ricky. Your mind just fills things in. This summer, Martha decides to send them both to Camp Arawak. Sorry. Send them both to Camp Arawak, a place to enjoy the great outdoors. Shortly after their arrival, a series of bizarre and violent accidents begin to claim the lives of various campers. Has a dark secret returned from the camp's past, or will an unspeakable horror end the summer season for all? From its grisly makeup effects to the truly shocking and unforgettable climax, Sleepaway Camp is no ordinary slasher film. It's a cult classic. Very accurate. Uh, and I have reviews up for all three in the original trilogy of Sleepaway Camp on my channel. And they're on their own playlist too, so you can just go there if you want to check that out. It's up to you. But anyway, those are the four films uh, that I got. Very excited to rewatch all of these and put them in my collection. Um, yeah, super awesome. Uh, thank you, Dial Diabolic DVD, for doing what you do. I love it. I You can rest assured I'll be doing another one of these videos at some point in months from now. I'll probably do yeah, I'll probably do it like December-ish to kind of treat myself, buy myself a present. Because I have a laundry list of Blu-ray, horror Blu-ray that I want to get my hands on. One of my biggest ones that's been out of stock, and you can do like a wish, like a wait list for titles uh, through Diabolic, and they'll let you know if they end up getting that back in. So one of the ones that I did is uh, Death Race 2000, the original one by uh, the Roger Corman one. I love that film, and I just I need a Blu-ray of it. So. Um, yeah, that's another one that I'm definitely going to want to get. But I, like I said, I got a huge list of ones to get. Uh, so who knows what I'll do next. But check out Diabolic DVD. And uh, yeah, put some comments down there if you have purchased through them. And if you did, what did you get recently? Also, let's just talk about like what are your favorite horror Blu-ray that you have? Or even DVDs. And talk about it from the standpoint of the actual film. But also from the standpoint of ones that have really great special features. Because I know, like, I had gotten the Ice Cream Man one from Vinegar Syndrome, I believe it was. And it has the last drive-in, the Joe Bob's last drive-in from back when it was on TBS, like, a long time ago. It has that episode on there as, a, as an extra. And then it also has, like, the commentary and stuff. I haven't gone through that yet, but I need to. But, um, but yeah, let's talk about, like, what ones have really good extras on it, so... And if you can let me know that, then if that's already on my list, I might end up bumping that title up to the top of my list to buy for myself. But anyway, thanks for checking this out. Um, do me a quick favor, though. Hit that subscribe button. If you like any videos I do, these unboxings, which are more rare, uh, more importantly, the movie reviews that I'm doing. But uh, if you are going to do that, go ahead and also hit the notification bell. That way you know when I'm putting up new videos or doing live streams or whatever. Um, but I really would appreciate it. I always appreciate it when people subscribe because that's how I grow my channel. It means a lot to me, so I appreciate that. But thanks for checking this out, and until next time, keep it brutal.